is the one. Hello people, welcome to my kitchen. Now we're going to be talking about the immune system, okay? Now, just a quick brief history of the reasons why I'm doing this video, okay? I've done a video um, a few years ago, very similar to this, okay? And it was part of a tag. I'll put the link to that video below this one, okay? This one is um, a modern twist and for a lot of my newer subscribers who haven't seen it before. So I'm gonna do it again, but with a little bit of difference, okay? So, the immune system. Um, on and off, I don't know, for, for years now. Um, I always got a cold um, throughout the year. I'll probably average between two and four colds every year, and ranging from 24 hours to 11 days in some cases. And it's so annoying, you know? I mean, you try to eat healthily and organic as possible, okay? Um, the only um, time I eat MREs and stuff is when I'm in the field. I don't eat them at home, as a rule, okay? So, what was happening? I was always getting sick. So I thought, oh, I've had enough of this, okay? Um, so what I've done is I Google researched and it, I spent weeks. It wasn't an overnight thing, it was weeks of intense research, okay? Um, what I wanted to do was go back to basics. I don't believe in a lot of modern medicine, I think it's rubbish. That's why there's so many people that are sick, okay? It doesn't make sense. The only reason I believe a lot of people are sick, can, despite all of the drugs that are on sale, is the drug companies are making a fortune. All the time they can keep you sick, but a little bit better, they're making money. If you're cured, they're not selling their drugs, they're not making money. It's that simple. So without getting too politically involved in that sort of, sort of the discussion, I thought I'd go down the natural route. Now, I actually tried this a few years ago, and it really did work. And I'm not saying that, I genuinely believe 100% truth it actually worked. From having four colds a year, having time off of work, etc., I made my own herbal drink, okay, and it had many ingredients. The link's um, below this video if you want to see that, okay. So I thought what I'll do is I'll do the same, okay, because I've been quite sick lately and I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired pretty much. So I thought, okay, I'll go down to the place where I used to go years ago, um, in a local town centre, to my friendly Chinese herbalist. Only to my horror, discovered that they closed up and gone. So it's clear that Codex Alimentarius is actually working and having an effect on homeopathic medicine. Um, Google research that if you want to, I haven't got time to go into that now, but Codex Alimentarius is making an impact. So basically, I had to revert to going down to the high street and going to a place called Holland and Barrett and a few other places to source my ingredients, okay? Um, as I said, these were researched by myself online and all of these um, have some impact in boosting your immune system, okay? Now, for me, your immune system is the body's antivirus, okay? Just like you've got a computer, if you haven't got an antivirus on there, and you're going all over the internet, the chances are, at some point, you're gonna, your computer's going to get a virus. And it's going to get sick, infected, and it's not going to work correctly. And sometimes they get really bad. The body's exactly the same. You know, you put in your body, should be good stuff. Your body is the most important machine ever in the planet. I don't care what anyone designs, your body is the best designed machine ever. Okay? So with that in mind, it's like having... Um, a top of the range Ferrari, and you're pouring in used chip fat. If you want to eat bad stuff all the time, that's effectively what you're doing. And the body's not going to respond too well, and it's going to come sick, and all the rest of it. So pretty much, I've been taking this for a couple of years now, and I've been getting sick, and your immune system gets low. All of the coughs and bugs, and God knows what they're injecting people and kids with, and flu jabs, etc., they're spreading everything, and everything's getting under attack. So I have had it up to here. So I'm going back to my defense drink. I don't know what I'm gonna call it. It's just an immune system booster drink, okay? All natural, you can buy it anywhere in the world, okay? So we're gonna quickly go over the ingredients now and uh, see what we've got. Okay, so there are said ingredients. It's not as many as what I've done a few years ago, but I'm hoping it's gonna work out. 
Starting with um, Stinger Nettle. Now we all know how good Stinger Nettle is. Um, obviously you can you can get this fresh out in the field, it's fine, but for convenience, all of the ingredients I've got here are dried and readily prepared, okay? Just to save time and make it a lot easier to make. So, you can Google any of these items and you're gonna to come to the same street. They're all gonna be geared towards your immune system. So, we've got Stinger Nettles, Echinea, Licorice, Rosehip, pure green tea, okay? Um, try not to get the stuff that's got all of the caffeine taken out. You want it in its natural based form, okay? And a good friend of mine, Zed from Zed Outdoors, sent me a nice big bag of grass. <laughs> no, not that grass, it's wheat grass. So nice one, Zed, that's gonna be going into the mix. Now, most people have got this sort of stuff, okay? Um, cinnamon, I've got all of these in the whole entirety, okay? But convenience, having it all ground up ready, it's fine, okay? And you don't need a lot of it, to be honest. So, cinnamon, very important, as are cloves. Oregano, ginger, turmeric, shiitake mushrooms, goji berries. They have got so much more vitamin C than practically anything else on the planet. So you want to get those dried and get those ground up. All the way from my good friend in Russia, Lars, um, sent me some chaga. That's gonna get them ground up. Now, as you can appreciate, all of that together is gonna taste pretty rank. So what I tend to do is I put, once it's all been steeped for about 10 minutes, I sweeten it with honey, it tastes fantastic. Now ideally, what you want to do is to get local cold pressed honey. Um, it's very hard to come by, you do have to sort of um, ask around locally and try and get it, okay? Try to avoid all of these expensive Makuna stuff. A lot of it's made in China and it's just sugar. So there's a lot of people getting ripped off with Makuna honey, okay? The reason for getting local stuff is because all of the bees are going around locally getting local stuff and it's better for you to have local stuff, okay? Ginger again, I prefer root ginger as well as the, the ground ginger. It's um, absolutely amazing, okay? And lemon, I'll probably put about a third to a half of a lemon um, in every cup, okay? Just to make it taste nice and more bearable. And I will be drinking this um, every single day until spring. Okay, so there are all the base ingredients as we just briefly gone over. Um, what we've got to do now is we've got to process it all, okay? Most of it has already been done, which is fine. Um, the mushrooms and the chaga and the goji berries need to be processed. Now, I'm a bit concerned about the chaga, and I'll show you for why now. Okay, so here we have some chaga. Um, some of you already know, this is an absolute amazing piece of material to um, start your fires with, okay? Um, once you rough up the surface, it will take a spark and it will glow fantastic, but also, it's amazing for teas, okay? Now, my friend Lars, as I mentioned before, who gave me this stuff, he virtually found it in Russia, um, chopped it all up, dried it out and sent it to me, okay, and I've been using it, it's fantastic stuff. So if anyone needs some chaga, um, contact Lars and he will um, try and get you some, okay. This stuff is totally 100% pure, not messed around, not processed in any way. And it is, for all intensive purposes, top grade chaga. So as I said earlier, I'm worried about processing it. Now, I could grate this, it might take a while because it's very hard and very light and dry. Um, I'm thinking of putting it into an electric coffee grinder. And the problem is, is once the blades get hot after spinning around for a while, it's actually gonna ignite the whole lot. <laughs> so I can either have a bowl of water ready, so if it just starts to take, I'll just tip the whole lot into the water, you know, let it let um, the smoke and stuff um, go out and put the ember out. Then I can dry it all out and then um, use it. That's gonna take time and I'm hoping it doesn't happen. So we're gonna put it into the coffee grinder um, from cold, okay, where the blades are nice and cold, and hopefully it's not going to get hot enough to actually set it alight. Right, the char has been mixed up. We're going to be doing everything in a big A4 size sealy bag, okay. So we're going to get the um, whole ingredients done first, as we said earlier. So the char is done, and the mushrooms next, and then the berries. Okay, so the mushrooms, they're going in, and they smell rather nice. <laughs> 
So all we're going to be doing now is blitzing that up now into as small as pieces as possible. So what we're actually doing is we've got the, the hand blender and I'm just covering the top up with a towel so the bits don't go everywhere. So in effect we're doing it blind but we're just going up and down around and around until, and just keep checking it okay, and eventually we'll end up with some small pieces. Well, it seems to have come out pretty good, so the hand blender with the cover over the top's done quite well. Um, the only reason I'm doing this is because my coffee grinder has failed, okay, so that's no good. So we've got to improvise and just make do. But we've ended up with exactly what we want, so that's uh, a result really. And the goji berries, well, they didn't stand a chance. <laughs> I was quite worried because I was thinking they might be a bit moist at, um, in their construction at some point, so um, I was dreading they'll all be stuck around the blades, but no. They've been blitzed up into um, a large granulated powder, which is perfect. So we've got chaga, goji berries, and shiitake mushrooms so far. Um, that's why I'd like to get the um, already sort of uh, ground products, to be honest. It saves so much time. I mean, you can do everything whole, but it takes a long time. And you want a seriously strong blender. Like one of those will it blend things, you know, where you can put your mobile phone in and it turns it to dust. <laughs> That's what you want, but they're so expensive. I'll just get by by doing it the way I'm doing now. So as I say, I just prefer to do it all when it's already done. I tried to do it whole before, and it took an absolute forever and a day, to be honest. So I'm trying to a ready-made. Now all these are tea bags, so we're just going to be ripping the tea bags open and chipping them to the bag. It's going to take a while because we've got 20 odd tea bags per box. So uh, we'll see in a minute how we're getting on. Right, the ingredients are just going to go into the bag. Um, this is what is left over from each one, okay? Um, this is roughly done. I'm not working to any formula, but obviously cinnamon is a very, very dominant flavour and you don't want to tip all of it in there. You'll just kill it. Um, as is cloves, um, that's what's left out of that container. Um, ginger, the same, because we're going to be putting fresh ginger in as well. Turmeric, I've used half of that, so it's going to be going a lovely golden colour, <laughs> but it's very, very good for you, so half of that's gone in. Um, as is the oregano, um, that's half used as well, okay? Just in case some of you guys were wondering, how much do you put in? I'm not working to any formulas, just do what you feel, okay? This is open to anyone to do whatever they want to, really, um, and this is how I'm doing it. Well, there it is. One big bag of super mix, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. Um, here's a little tip, if you are going to be mixing anything in any bags, it doesn't matter what it is, okay? Um, what is a good tip is to try and get some air in there first, okay? So what I tend to do is I'll seal it right up to near the end and get some air in there. Like that. Once you've got air in there, and obviously, please make sure that you really have done a good job sealing it. Once you've got air in there, it becomes a great big pillow. And it's so much easier to mix it all up, okay? Otherwise, you'll be there forever in a day, and you're not going to properly mix it. So, I mean, what I've done, the last batch that I've done a few years ago, when I was, um, cold and virus free for two years, solid. Just have one heat teaspoon a day. And it will take it will take anything from a week to three weeks to get into your system, okay? Now this worked for me on par with a good healthy balanced diet. Don't eat rubbish. Don't go and eat McDonald's and drinking Coke and beer and smoking fags and then have this and expect it to work for you. It might do. I haven't tried it myself, but in conjunction with good, healthy, balanced diet and some exercise, worked wonders for me. It really did. And I'm not just kidding you. I won't go spend all this money and doing this for nothing. It really did work. Okay. So that's all well and mixed there. Right, let's try it and brew it and see what it tastes like. Right, so there it is. It's just a piece of lemon chopped up and a lump of uh, ginger. We haven't bothered taking the skin off, okay? Because all it's going to do is steep. So, we're going to be trying out our new mix. So we've got one heat spoon there. That's all you've got to do. It doesn't seem a lot, 
But you've got to bear in mind, you're going to be having this every day, okay? And we're just going to chuck some boiling water in there. Roughly about the same sort of size you'll get in your mug, okay? Now, personally, the best thing to do, I think, at this stage is to cover it with cling film. That gives it a good seal and gives it time to really get infused, okay? Right, that's 10 minutes exactly. Um, I'll give it a bit of a shake um, halfway through, okay? Just to make sure that we're all proper mixed up. What you don't want is it all falling to the bottom. I'll try and get as much out of it as I can, okay? So I'll just use anything really just to get in there and give it a bit of a, a bit of a squish up because really, you know, you want to get as much as you can out of this. After all the effort you put in and all of the goodness you're going to get, you want to get as much out of it as you can. So, squish down in there. Okay, I have got um, a single strainer, that's at work. But this one, this one's going to be fine, okay? Now, if you're using something like this, don't pour it fast because you'll get all the bits go in there and it'll just go everywhere. So just take your time here. All right. There we go. Now, I think it's going to be crazy to drink that as it is. <laughs> so we're going to put some honey in there. Absolutely, definitely. A nice good sized spoon of honey too. Mmm. That stuff from Essex is lovely. I like that. So now it's nice and hot, the honey's just going to dissolve in there perfectly. Excellent. Obviously, there's going to be people comment under this video saying um, you're doing it wrong, you're not supposed to do that. Um, you should have put this in there. You don't need to put that in there as well, etc, etc, etc. This is an experiment. This is based very, very closely on what I've done before, which actually really works well for me, okay? So all I'm doing is I'm just sharing with you guys um, my research and experiences to stuff that actually works for me. It might not work for you. Um, you might have medical conditions which you know disallows you from using certain ingredients that I've used so do your own research don't just copy this okay you know sometimes I'll do videos and I'll put links in there and yeah why can't people just use Google themselves why does everyone want an easy ride <laughs> so you don't have to copy this exactly I mean you're free to do so if you want to um, but I can't accept any um, damages when you risk to in, if it upsets you okay all I'm saying and I'm stating again this actually works for me okay now for the moment of truth oh, full of gym of nice as knives oh I like that <laughs> sorry man yeah that worked that's fine, very herby, pretty much how you would think it would taste really. Yes, yeah, so I say for me personally, if you didn't put the ginger, lemon and honey in there, I don't think I could do it, especially every day, it would just be too disgusting. The, the tastes and the you know, the amalgamation of ingredients in there will just lead to something pretty catastrophic flavour-wise. So for me, you know, the, the ginger, the lemon and the honey are three key ingredients, which makes this absolutely, it's quite nice actually, it's quite, um, especially with the clove and the cinnamon in there, it's very Christmassy, <laughs> as it were. Yeah, that's quite nice actually. In fact, that tastes better than the one I've done before. So I'm very happy with that. I think it's because, as I said, I put this cinnamon and cloves in there, where before I didn't. So, there you have it. I'm going to be doing this every single day now, um, right up until maybe the end of winter, early spring, then stopping it. I don't see the point of doing it every single day. I mean, I'm going to have to make loads of it. I mean, for what we've got in this bag, um, from past experience, that's going to last me um, over two years, okay? Okay, it's taken me um, time and money to make. 
I mean, from start to finish, to process that, um, without the filming, we're looking at a good hour, non-stop, okay? So it's an hour of your life put into something like that. Um, I'm not really sure how much the ingredients cost. I mean, I've already got a lot of the ingredients in my cupboards already, but I wanted to get new stuff and just show with you what it looks like in its whole entirety, okay? That you can buy it as is. And uh, for me, there's no real price in your health, to be honest. I mean, you know, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't gamble, I don't go to sporting events, you know, I, I choose what I do with my money wisely, I don't just throw it all away. And for me, making something like this, to stop me having coughs, colds, all the rest of it, it's very, very much worthwhile. So, I hope it's helped to inspire you guys to think on the same lines, okay? As I touched on very briefly earlier, um, a lot of the drug companies, they actually make stuff in mind with not making you better but making you feel okay but the, the symptoms will still be there they just want you to spend your money on their stuff most of the stuff you get in the high street like um, Lemsip, Beecham's, all it is is paracetamol and sugar that's it so you will spend a lot of money on stuff which don't really work um, for me personally um, prevention is better than cure you know make sure your immune system is tip top I mean, my immune system is shot. I've been quite ill lately, um, but I'm on the men's now, feeling better every day. But this is going to give me the kick up the arse that my immune system really needs, okay? So, you know, when you've got granddaughters around and kids around and they're coughing everywhere and you're catching all the germs, when your immune system's low, you're going to catch everything coming your way. Get your immune system sorted out. It's like a firewall around you. It's like a big human shield, mate. You won't get sick. Well, not for me personally. It worked for me. So there you have it guys, I hope it's inspired you to think on the lines of looking after yourself. Thanks for watching, stay funky.